Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I know you're expecting, like, you know, some kind of huge video talking about the new update and all the stuff that's been revealed. And that has been done to death. Um, there is a lot of really good videos out there. You can check out anybody in the, the GTA, you know, reference library of links I have in my description. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. It's early in the morning on a Saturday. And my allergies must be getting me a little bit, a little fuzzy. But we're we're okay. Um, so I'm not going to go over the whole news or anything like that. I do want to say though that I think the changes to Cayo Perico are good. They're, they're good for you. Now listen to me. Apparently, uh, this has been a thing where people just grind Cayo Perico back to back to back to back, which I would find nauseating because that's just you know, there's so much about doing that that uh yes it's it's the best way to make money but yeah that money there there's a good image for you that's how you end up after doing Kale Perico back to back to back to back I mean maybe you find it fun and all this kind of stuff but you it it takes over the whole game at some point and that's grinding stuff is not necessarily good for you you know the grinding lifestyle of just playing for hours and, you know, just, just to make cash, not necessarily the best thing. Now, I say this, shut up, Lester. I say this with some experience, especially this week, because what I've been doing is I've been doing payphone hits. And, you know, I, I took, uh, at first I was just doing the payphone hits and then during the cooldown doing other things. And that was fine. It was a nice mix of things. Then I, I watched GTA Men's video where he revealed to me, at least, maybe everybody knew this, that you could just restart the game, exit the game, go back into the game, and that would kill the cooldown. And I'm not going to do that here because I would have to just keep resetting my audio and everything like that. So I was playing it with music and then just reloading the game. Half the time not even listening to it. And you don't have to listen to the whole spiel on, the, on everything. I found that out too. Let's, let's do one. I should say, oh, hi, Wayward Pax. I should say that when I started doing this, I was at about 81 million. You know, this is, you know, a little, you saw the last video, I, I spent about 3, 4 million on SUVs, and my original goal was to get back to 85 million. Hey, partner. Yeah, I got it. But you can get into this loop where. Especially from this agency, if you start from there, you're really close to a payphone. And you can crank one of these out in less than five minutes. I, I remember I was I was a little skeptical at first. You don't even need to listen. Hey, look, the day's target is a caution. It's the cautionary tale. It's the co-founder. You can crank this puppy out. And when I first heard GTA, I thought, well, it takes so long for me to restart my game anyway. That would have to be, you know, offsetting penalties. It's got to be better just to play. But I tried it, and it really, really isn't as long as I think it was. Not, not as long as it feels. Especially when you're not crashing. I haven't been crashing as much. I haven't been running OBS. I have Backblaze set to only back up when I press backup. And, of course, I'm, I'm constantly restarting the game. So, you know... I've had like one crash on this, I think. And that um, was after I got paid, so it was okay. I was gonna shut the game down anyway. But, no wait, two crashes. There were two crashes, because one, I just, it just dumped me to desktop, the other one it actually froze the computer, I had to restart. And that may happen here, because we're recording now, and that's just how it is. But I have been, what were we doing here? Oh, the explosive modification. That's good. That's a high, uh, high success rate kind of thing. It's, it's harder to screw up because you do have more than enough time. Just to grab this guy's car. And you gotta realize right now it's double money. So if you pull off the bonus, you get 170k. 
which is they say 170k. But if you could do 170k in five minutes, then you reboot the game. All right, let's say it takes you five minutes to reboot the game. That's ten minutes. Yeah, you're you're closing on Kyle Perico levels of making money. I mean, at least for me. Because I mean, I'm not one of those people who could crank out Kyle Perico in 15 minutes. I just usually I've done it. I've had one or two really successful Kyle Perico runs. And then most of the other time I get caught and have to shoot my way through and then die 17 times and burn through all my armor. And it's just totally annoying. You got lots of time. So, I, I, some of these, you know, if you get the bulldozer hit. What's wrong with her now? I'm the CEO. <coughs> What's wrong with her now? We're going to kill somebody. Better than when she came in, that's for sure. Not nearly as, it's going to be a, a lot worse when this, when he turns this thing over, so. Hope you didn't spend too much time on it. Well, that's right, it's instant. But at any rate. So for me, doing this has been, first of all, it's much more varied. It's much, it's much quicker. You get a much higher success a sort of feeling of success. And I don't mind doing it. And you can just do it really quick, walk away from it. You get 10 minutes during the day, you come back, do, do two or three of them, you know. You got like an actual hour to play the game, make a million. It's all good. <coughs> so let's just pull in here. I find a cough drop after we park this. Don't worry, the guy's too distracted by his misery of life to notice. Two minutes to spare. Oh, it's, that's not really cutting it all that close. We're just going to hop up here. Why are we not pulling up here at all? There we go. And wait for the merriment. And like I said, get a cop. Oh, come on. Do -do -do -do. And no, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Here's one. All right. That one on my desk. So for me, this has been, you know, something I'd rather do than Caprico. Obviously, when it goes back to normal money, then it's only eighty thousand. You're not going to make you know, money as fast as Caprico. But I've been doing this exclusively now. At times, it's like, well, gee, why am I still doing this? So I don't need, like. Let me let me give you an idea here. I had eighty-one million, which is probably more than enough for this DLC if I want to get everything according to most estimates that I see, you know, in the GTA reference library channels. I've got... I had 85 million. I knocked it down to 81 doing those videos with, you know, the Seminole Frontier and the, uh, the Hellion. I thought, well, let me just use this and I'll get myself back to 85 million. And I did that. And I thought, ooh, well, you know, if I really press on, I can maybe get to 91 million. That'd be like I've done 10 million dollars, and that'd be insane. I, I, I probably won't get there. So here we are, 93.5, about to push it towards 94. And this is all I've been doing. You'll notice I don't have a racing video, which is what I'm. The whole point of me doing this game is I enjoy the racing. And it's kind of, I've talked about this before, whatever the event week is, whatever the bonus is, it, they, they do get to do a little bit of mind control with you in that that will direct what your efforts are because that's the most rewarding thing. And it's very much, you know, we're mice with the cheese here. The, the 170K is the cheese. The, the millions you get from Kyle Perico is the cheese. So you... By making Kyle Perigo the overwhelming 
thing to do in this game, you know, basically makes it the Kyle Perico game. Bye. See, none of this was spectacularly hard. You didn't have to sneak past guards. You didn't have to get shot 75 times in the face. 170k. And what I would normally do is then just kill the game, restart it, but we're going to resist that for right now. We're going we're gonna to go over, check on the uh, the nightclub while, while we talk about you know, what else is going on. So I think it, it's, it's good in the long run if Rockstar promotes a more balanced game. And this, this whole update seems to me to be the we have to stop people from wanting just to grind one thing and, and get more balance in the game, which is, they've said that. They're going to increase payouts. I don't know if they've increased them enough to accomplish what they want, but hey, it helps. And we'll see how it goes. As a racer, I'll be happy. You make a little bit more money racing. It's, I, I don't, again, probably not going to affect my lifestyle at this point because I still have 93 million. Will I burn through 50 million with their new update? Maybe. I don't know. You know, they talk about all these updates to the businesses. Do you have to pay for them? No one's talked about that. You have to pay for an upgrade to your business to make more money with it and then do that business. I will say this, I am actually planning on loading up all of my businesses to max for once. If they're going to do a single-time double money. Now, I wonder if that is just on the first business you do or on all the businesses. Some kind of huge sell bonus. And again, some of that's mind control, too. I don't want to do biker business stuff. But hey, for a one-time shot where you make millions and millions, I can do that. I'm making a lot of money with this too, by the way. But let us. Let's see, who do we have in the. Um, we want to switch it back to Tales of Us and then I'll just. Uh, the wrong button. Nightclub management. Uh, resident DJ. Who is in? We have Solomon, and let's go back to Tale of Us. I normally keep Tale of Us, you know why? Because orange is kind of my color theme here for Rusty Jack. But when I don't feel like doing a mission, I'll just flip these guys around for 10k, and then... Boom. We'll make another 100k in no, pro in no time at all. Another case of, you know, circumstances controlling what you do. You can't hear the music. Why? Because I'm making a video and I, I don't want to be blocked. So I've got that turned off. So let's go grab our 95. So is it good that things are getting more balanced and maybe, just maybe? See, here, here's the trick. Right now, you're doing K.O. Perico because it's the best thing in the world to do as far as making money. Fine. But is it what you really want to do? Is that really how you want to play the game? Or do you feel like you feel stupid if you play anything else in the game because Kyle Perico is the best thing in the game? So it is good if they make it not as good and so that you might feel like, and, and, and force you into a cooldown so that maybe you feel free to finally be able to do the things that you want to do. Now, maybe after, you know, your 72 hours is up, you're like, oh, well, 72 hours up, I have to do Caprico, and there's still a bit of mind control going on. What's better than it was, where you did nothing but Caprico? Or, in my case, do nothing but uh, payphone hits, which, you know, it's an interesting thing. The payphone hit cycle I've been in has kind of reinforced for me the, the feeling that that this game is someone's vision of hell. It really is. Think about it. You don't really see you don't really see children here. 
Everyone on the streets rude and mean. Every one of the people that you, you kill in the payphone hits is a terrible person. Which you can attribute to Franklin, you know, selecting people, you know, only accepting murders for really terrible people. But more likely, it's just that everybody in this game is terrible. Then you get to the point where you talk about the fact that when you get killed, you just respawn. And in the, with the payphone hit thing, there's only so many missions. You're killing the same people over hey. and over and over again. So they're respawning. There's precious little to do like this. This is reasonable. Where you can just make, you know, make a car and sell it. It's a good thing. Where's the hot pink? I miss it. I think. So you can see it's it's you know there's a lot of th things here. Where people say, well, gee, if everybody's just terrible and everyone just has this thing where everyone's trying to kill each other all the time, and there's this kind of constant rage that's going on. And then you introduce griefers, and it's like, well, maybe this is what some people think. Hell is like now. It's, it, that's not what hell is like. I mean, hell is. The complete absence of the presence of God, which you don't realize exactly how that keeps you from a constant wave of, of burning cool. suffering. Read stuff about read, read some of the writings of Saint Faustina. You'll you'll get an idea. Of hell, and you're not going to want to go there. Trust me. There's always those jokes. Well, I'll, I'll be okay in hell. I'll know everybody there. Yeah, you're not going to be paying attention to that. You're just going to be suffering. Okay, so don't don't play that game. But this could be someone's idea of it, where, you know, you, people are just killing each other all the time, and it doesn't really matter, because you're already dead. Now, the, uh... The reality of it is, is the reason that you can, everybody can just die over and over again is that it's a video game, and it's not real. So... My little theories and headcanon and all that are really, you know, quite silly. But, you know, sometimes you can't over... You don't want to overthink things too much, and I generally tend to. Wheel type. SUV That's wheels cool. on this. That'll be great. Someone's got a vision. There you go. You do fill the wheel wells. Okay. I'm going to deliver it myself. Apparently they're going to make the staff drive better in the update. That'll be really great. That's that's one thing I will uh, look forward to. No, oh, I didn't damage it. Man. it just... They're going to increase the chance that they might not wreck the thing on the way there. So that's, that's good. But since I can't trust my staff yet, I'm driving. You know, it's... I mean, there's a lot of things in life that I guess guide it which way we're going to go and control what we're doing. I mean, I'm going to go to work on Monday morning. Why? Because I like to eat. It's getting harder and harder to do that, but I mean, we're still we're still eating. You know, that's that's a good thing. The other day I went, went shopping, got some very basic things, really. You know, you're shopping for four people, and it's blah, blah, blah. Almost four hundred dollars. Like, what, what? How are people living here? I don't understand. It's. I make a pretty good buck, and things are tight. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's really weird, in the whole real life thing. But I mean, you can you can see that there's my, you know, my actions are constrained. You know. It's a problem. But I mean, at least I could choose where I'm going to work and and what. Uh, what options are the most optimal for me? So we've got that going for us still. It's not like there's like some kind of bureau that says, "All right, this is you're going to be a garbage man today because we need garbage men." And that's great if that's your calling, because there are people called to that. Thank God, because you know, we would uh, we would as a society collapse. That's you know, one of the most important things you can do, really. Yes, it looks like a, a My Little Pony car. Are you happy? 
It should be. She, she's looking disgusted, and I didn't do anything wrong. We got all the money. No damages. I think that was the wrong uh, animation. Yeah. So there's, it's an interesting thing where, you know, this game really does tend to, you know, simulate life as far as you're going to do what, you know, what benefits you the most. So therefore, if they can balance that out, it gives you more freedom to do what you actually want to do. Like how many people became accountants instead of teachers because accounts make more money? Or how many people became engineers, like me, because it makes more money? Um, not many you think. I think because engineering, a lot of people go into engineering. But if you're not called to it, it's really, you, you just can't. It's, it's just, it's... When people say, oh, I'm going to be an engineer, I say, oh, well, I'm sorry. You know, God bless you. It's... I always refer to a quote from Patton, the movie Patton, Jordan C. Scott. Where he's uh, he's overlooking a battlefield. I can't remember the exact quote, but it's, he's describing it in the most horrific terms possible and how terrible it all is. You know, these these twisted bodies and all these people hurt and destroyed. It, 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 they ran out of ammunition. They were fighting so much. Should we do this? Let's do this. And in the, all this burning wreckage, you know, millions of dollars of equipment is blasted to hell for no reason whatsoever. And then he, he looks at it all over, he's talking with someone, and he said, God help me, I love it so. Like, there's something wrong with him, okay? That's just... And that's how I feel about engineering. Like, there's so many times I look at it, and it's like, ah, oh, why do I like this? This is, you know... There's so much... So many headaches. But it's what I'm built to do, you know? I'm not built to do plumbing. I'm not, you know... But thank God people are built to do plumbing because it's, first of all, very difficult to do a lot of that stuff. You need a real touch. A, a mind with, you know, really good spatial relations because, you know, I didn't do, I didn't do very well with spatial relations on the ASFAB back in the day. Uh, do they still have that test? I don't even know. My dad's really good with spatial relations, so between it's like, you know, really kind of mechanical, electrical. I'm, I'm better abstract, you know? But it's an interesting, interesting kind of work study here is that you know, now that they nerfed Kyle Perico, uh, you know, maybe you'll enjoy the game more. Especially if they fix the traffic. Like, the traffic doesn't need to constantly be trying to jump in front of you, Rockstar, you know? Can we, can we not have that? I'm, I'm waiting to see if that happens in the update. If, if, if the traffic settles down a little bit. That would be a nice thing. That meat in front of me. So what do you think? You think like this is like someone's vision of hell where everyone just keeps killing each other over and over and over? Is it, am I just overthinking a video game? I don't know. We're gonna deliver a car. And then I'm gonna go back to uh back to probably doing payphone hits. You'll you'll notice you're not seeing a racing video this week. Yep, that's not happening. I, I should probably do a little bit of racing just for the fun of it. I'm more likely just to do payphone hits while I reorganize my den. Do a payphone hit, clean some stuff up while the game recharges here and restarts. And just slows productivity on both ends. And yeah, that's, that's all that's really great.
Well, I'm gonna cut this short before you know. I mean, we could we could ramble on all day and maybe do some other things, but. How long before the computer crashes, really? Do you think we'll, will we make it to the end of this run here? <coughs> I got water the garden too. Yay, we cashed in. Actually, I wonder. Do you think before I cut this off? Do you think we have spent enough time? So we could do another payphone hit together? Yay. <coughs> Have I talked that long? What you need? Five more minutes. All right, shit. See you later. Should I, should I continue on for another five minutes here? Four minutes. Four more minutes. And, uh... You think the computer will hold up another four more minutes? If this just ends, then I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to upload it. I think we, we, uh, deliver another car from the, uh, the whatchamacallit from the auto shop. Which I guess the uh, the biker the biker clubhouse is going to become a biker shop. They use the same reuse the same code and do that. I that works. They could actually if you look at the way they've set it up and some I say it's going to be better for you. They could have it so that you're just running from business to business constantly trying to, you know, keep things going. Which may end up making you focus on one set of businesses because you just can't do it all. It'll be perfect for the professional, you know. See how many billions he can make. He's already made billions. All right, let's take the the cool car here. Harbor Blue. With all right, it's got mostly it's got chrome wheels, so we don't have to worry about the wheel color. Performance upgrades, turbo, that'll help. But preferred better brakes. Let's see, arch covers, remove side panels, rear bumpers. Fenders. Decrome fenders. New wheels. Sport. Ground. Ground ride? Don't they all ride on the ground? I don't know. You think the color works? I guess it kind of works. I guess it works well enough. But we won't risk uh, annoying people. This is a beautiful car. I've been thinking I have to do mine with less livery. Because, you know, I've got like the Doc Hudson livery and I've got some other kind of, you know. See, settle the traffic down a little bit, Rockstar. See you later, Wayward Packs. <laughs> 
forgot how this car handles or, or fails to. That's why you want to completely slam it down to the ground and put some lights on it. At least we didn't hurt it. Oh, we're picking someone up, up at the airport here. Okay. To drive the Hermes more is fun. Alright, he's happy. And why wouldn't he be? He's got a Hermes, you know? Yeah, not a lot of money there, but it was something to do. And the truth be told... I'm so sad you don't take my offers of help seriously. I don't. And so... Alright, I don't know if that was a full four minutes. Are we at four minutes yet? I'll bet not. Frankie. Hey, pardon? You can do it. All right, see you. Let me make a few calls. Payphone hit. So you can see without doing, you know, the whole method of, of killing the game and bringing it back in, you can still do pretty well with just doing a couple other things and having a more balanced existence with it. There's a phone over here? There it is. Off in the back corner of the game. An evil phone call. Let's listen to the actual hit this time. Instead of blasting past it. You ever heard of the show called Closet CEO? Well, some asshole billionaire pretends to be one of his broke-ass employees for a day or two. Well, keep thinking about that. And then think about the CEO of Gold Coast Development. This dude is a world-class asshole. Union busted. Poor working conditions, corruption, intimidation, man, you name it. And check this out. Now he's about to throw in some overalls and play nice for the workers on his site for the cameras. Now, full disclosure, I did some work a while ago that gave this asshole market value a boost. But that was before I heard what a piece of shit this fucker really is. So when a client came to me with a proposal to make some bills off liquidating his ass, man, I said, hell yeah. Our client gonna short the fuck out the Gold Coast development stock. Then we gonna ice this fool while he's playing construction worker for this dumbass show. The stock tank, our client get rich, we get paid. And if we make it look like he died because of some unsafe conditions on his site, makes it even better. And again, alright, so the guy we're killing is terrible. Which, believe it or not, boys and girls, does not justify killing him. Everybody has to have their opportunities for redemption here. God's working with all of us, and there's, believe me, there are people out there who think that everyone, there's always somebody who thinks you're terrible, and it's all based on what, you know, their impression of their, it's more a reflection on uh, their life than your life. Usually. Unless you're actually terrible. In which case, really, you know, clean that act up. But here we go. You can see how quick these... The CEO ones are actually pretty good. Sometimes you have to wait for them to walk around for a bit. The gas tank one's actually the, probably the easiest ones to pull off as far as the timing. You know, you can clearly see when he's in position. Although, the bulldozer ones I've, I've now found out are really... If you get there, and quickly, and you just get yourself up, grab the gun. He's usually standing right in front of the bulldozer, and then you can just... He's just standing there, and you can get him really quick. I used to struggle with that, but now, you know, you have to try and time it. But turns out he just stops and stands in front of the bulldozer. It's not like you have to get him while he's walking or something. You know, it's... 
I, I might be able to show you that here if we do it the way we would because he might be in the same position see if I go bang this run, runs him over and he stands there long enough for it to happen so if you get the if you get the bulldozer one just shoot the bulldozer quick it's bang bang somewhere in there as it stands we have to kind of wait for him to wander how you doing? Yeah, I'm the CEO. I'm, I'm not the CEO. I'm a worker. What do you think of your CEO? Isn't he great? I hear he gets, like, lots of chicks. And he doesn't pay for any of them. That's what I hear. Okay, that's, so that's going on over here. We have to wait till he gets all the way over here. So he'll walk underneath, uh, underneath this. This is where you'd kill him the next way. way. You know, that's just... Bang and then squish. Bang squish. But that's not how we get the bonus this time. This time it's the uh, the gas tank explosion. So, so this is how you get oil. Wow. I'm just staring at him. And we're waiting. We could easily just, you know, boink the kill him. But then you only get 30k. We want the 170 here. Come to Papa, have a smoke. Light up. And there you go. And you say, well, I'm a good person because I killed a terrible person. Doesn't work that way, no. Nope, nope, nope. All, all my characters in this game are really, you know, terrible, terrible people. We do terrible, terrible things. And the fact that they do terrible pe things to people who are also terrible. Nope, 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 nope. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I said that I was probably just going to end the video if it crashed, but, you know, I was in the middle of a thought there. I was going to go on about, you know, the aspects of warfare and how you can be a soldier and still be justified in killing people because, you know, self-defense and just warfare and all that. And I thought, you know, this is getting too heavy. Let's just go do another payphone hit. Can you talk about? I'm really looking forward to that Monte Carlo looking thing. That that looked cool. That car coming out. That'll be good. Want the new Lamborghini? I'm wondering if if Pankro Jones isn't spectating me, and that's what crashed it. I'm not sure. Or was it just a transaction thing? First of all. Going looking for the wrong thing. Where's Frank Lane? Hey, partner. All right, got it. I'll ask around and get back to you. And it has been less than 20 minutes, so you can now see that that does work. It was longer than if he just exited the game. Obviously, we had to restart the whole thing and you know, go back and change the audio settings so I could record. I wonder if Pank Rose is doing the same thing. You ever heard of the show called Closet CEO? Well, Stop. some asshole billionaire pretends to be one of his broke ass employees for a day or two. Well, keep thinking about that. Keep thinking about that. So, is it going to be that sometimes you do this, you get the exact same mission twice in a row? Which makes you wonder exactly. Maybe these, these things are on like some kind of rotating timer. If you do it fast enough, you get the same thing. Yeah, he might be doing the same thing. Offline, online. We're, we're doing the... We're grinding money. See that? We're all grinding money. They control our minds. Yep, exactly the same mission. Well, since it's exactly the same mission, ladies and gentlemen, 
I don't know, do you really want to be here just to see me cross the $94 million mark? I'm thinking that's not going to be an emotionally satisfying thing for you. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's cut this a little short. This is your Black Knight. I hope this was an informative, thoughtful, and enjoying video. But most of all, I hope that you have a great night. So, this is where they keep the... To a New Yorker like you, a hero is some type of weird sandwich. Not some nut who takes on three tigers. 94 million. 94 million dollars. And 100 grand tonight, I gotta go get that.